guys. We're gonna do a video. I'm sorry, that was dumb. No hate to my good buddy Toad, but I'm just really bad at starting videos, honestly. I'm doing something different today. Uh, obviously, this is not a dramatic film. Dramatic narrative film. It's not a narrative film. It could be. This could all be scripted. You never know. But it's not, guys. It's not. Um, but I'm homesick. I have COVID. Uh, um, and I was going to be bored all day, so I was like, oh, why don't I do a vlog? And I know at least two people are going to watch it, because two people told me they would. So, anyways, this is my life. And I, you're wondering, Parker, you have such a cool outfit on. Parker, why didn't you show us getting ready? I mean, why didn't you sh show us you getting ready? Parker, I want to know what your outfit is. Lucky for you guys, I have a well-timed montage. true though. I actually woke up like this. <sighs> I'm so scared. Look at this guy's dinner tonight. Cost for this one, help you to grab him. It's everybody said, I thought we got a window. I don't want to. Now you might be wondering, Parker. Where did you get this mug of mysterious substances? Well, while you were watching the montage, I took myself out into the great unknown, saw my dog, and then made myself a cup of coffee. It's actually the last caramel cappuccino K-cup that I own, which makes me sad, because it's a very good flavor. Anyways, it is now 1047. I am an hour late for school. So, let's get to it. I'm not realizing that all of that footage was slightly blurry, and this probably is too. Um, it's because it's hard for me to focus my camera when I'm over here. I can't like reach it, you know? And then also, I don't, I'm not wearing my glasses. Like, I'm actually blind. So, case in point, that was literally just out of focus. Anyways, here's my email from my anthos teacher which I really think that she should count um, this blog as my assignment, but whatever, let's see what she got for me. Once again, my teachers have failed me by giving me actual work to do, so enjoy this little montage of work um, so you guys don't have to do it. It's now 11.43, uh, that is an hour of my life I will not be getting back, um, but I still have until 1.20 to do my next assignment, so... We're gonna do an unboxing. It's what all the famous YouTubers do. So, now as you can probably tell, this is not your usual unboxing video because one, I've already unboxed them, and two, uh, unboxing videos are usually sponsored, and I'm not sponsored, but I had some equipment that I haven't really been using yet, and I decided that today would be a good time to show it to you guys. Um, I had to clear up my desk, because I really don't have a lot of desk space. Everything's up here now, um, so it's going to get a little bit cramped, but I feel like this is really just going to elevate like our our communication, our, our little our little bond we got going on here, okay? All right, first up 
is the RGB wireless gaming combo keyboard and mouse. I got this for Christmas for my mom, she's super awesome. And yep, we're just gonna see how it looks. Uh, so to start off, I just wanna say it looks very sleek. Uh, yeah, totally interesting. Um, it actually lights up, which I think is super cool. Uh, so yeah, so I took out the mouse and then you just had to plug it in to the computer and then it's all set to go for both things and It's not actually how it works. I was stupid and didn't read the directions on here It says For the mouse it says oh this isn't even the mouse side I don't know. It says press and hold the scroll wheel and the right button and then plug the thing in while they're both pressed down and then you can let go and it'll be connected so I did that and I was like oh my god it's not working um you also have to turn on the controller thing I didn't have it on and then you'd think I learned from my mistakes but then on the other side on this side is for the keyboard to connect which very sleek keyboard love it um it's got these little like flippy thingies um so you can stand it up and it also lights up just like the mouse um and it says press escape and k and hold it at the same time then put in the the connector thing and then you're good so that's what i did and i was like oh my god it's not working again so i was like what if i press them at the same time like the mouse and the keyboard and put it in but that was really difficult uh it did not work and then i'm like oh yeah there's a freaking on switch for this thing too so that being said i put it all together it looks very nice my favorite setting you have to press like fn and five uh because that's just like the regular like block colors but honestly like every single color setting looks good and the only problem i have um is the space bar you have to hit it really really hard and also you know it's a bigger keyboard so i'm not used to it yet but i'm just gonna adjust and it'll be fine and i really love the setup um i rate 9 out of 10 for like thwackiness you guys know like the thwacky keyboard sound nine out of ten love it love it to death so overall i rate probably an eight out of ten for the whole product um i was gonna put a point lower because it was hard to put together but that's just my own personal stupidity so on to the next thing this next one's the feefine studio condenser i got it from my awesome grandma everyone give a shout out to her she's amazing uh it comes with a little tripod which is what we'll be setting up today but it also has a uh, microphone stand that you can connect to your desk, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, it just plugs into your computer and then you are all set to go. So like I said before, these aren't the regular unboxing videos because I've already unboxed them. I actually used this microphone um, for a project I did last year where I taught people how to play a song on guitar. Check it out if you want to. This is me unashamedly promoting my other videos. Uh, but anyways... It's honestly, we're just gonna go through the whole thing again because I forgot how to set it up because I have the memory of a fruit fly. So according to this manual, all we really need to do to attach the microphone to the tripod is literally just attach it. Like, I don't know why I thought it would be so difficult, but we'll just thread that on there and then that'll be set. After some very technical and just totally boring aspects of putting the sound in the computer and the microphone and linking them all up that I really I don't need to put in this video because it's just gonna bore you guys. And Mr. Frog, how are you doing today? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Mr. Frog, you cannot say that on public television. But I wholeheartedly agree. It's all set up and from now on I'll be using this microphone quality. Oh, that was sick. That was so, that was so, like, cool. Anyways, uh, obviously it's going to sound a lot better for you guys. Uh, I think it's a really cool system to use. My sound guy, however, he doesn't agree. But, who cares about the sound guy? I'm right here! Anyways, um, it is now 12.39, and I think it's time for some lunch. 
Do you guys really think I was going to bring you with me? I mean, come on, you put your life on the internet and suddenly everyone wants to know what you had for lunch. Anyways, next up is science with my lovely teacher who does not talk to anyone. So obviously he did not respond to my email saying I was sick. So I'm just going to assume that the assignment is like it is every day. Probably a video with a Google Doc where you fill in the blanks based off the captions. I speed run through this stuff. Okay, I really honestly, this class is so easy. I mostly just sleep in it regularly, like at, at, at regular school. But anyways, so yeah, I'm going to get started on that. What I realized while I'm making these time lapses of my schoolwork is that nobody wants to watch a YouTube video of someone doing homework, okay? And as much as I want to believe that I'm funny and interesting enough to keep you guys captivated and watch me fail my classes, I just, it's just not possible. It's not possible for anybody. So I'm going to pause, pause, and then we're going to resume after I'm done with all this work. So, see you guys in, like, a second for you. But hours for me. Time travel. So, when I was procrastinating on doing my work, like every mentally ill teenager out there, I went on TikTok. Also, like every mentally ill teenager out there. Um, and I saw this video of someone unboxing a new guitar, and it made me think, oh my god, I gotta play guitar now. Because I love music so much. But first, I'm gonna give you a room tour, and also... I know I said I was gonna use that one mic for like all of the rest of the video, but I don't really wanna carry it around. And it has to attach, oh, you can't even see it. It has to attach to my computer, so I'm lazy and we're not gonna do that anymore. Anyways, room tour, starting here with the super awesome me and my super awesome mirror. Among us with the long legs. Anyways, uh, we got my little film corner. This is all scripts from my first ever slasher. Then we got the, the buy flag because I'm fruity. Um, this has stayed in the same spot, but I kind of like cleaned it off and I reorganized my books. Um, I've got them all in alphabetical order on the bottom shelf here. And then these are my favorite books over here, um, which I think is super cute. Uh, then we have my desk, which has also stayed in the same spot, but that's fine. Um, I think I actually might want to switch out this desk, but we'll see. Anyways, lava lamp. Yeah, and so then we also have all my stuffed animals got moved over to here. The stuffed animal tower is now here um, where my converse tower used to be because my converse tower is over in here in my super duper cool closet. A little wig on the floor. All my shirts are organized now, and it looks super cool, and I've got like an Alaska poster in here. But anyways, back to my actual room. Um, we've got Oliver's dog bed right here with his Alaska posters, which one of them is falling. Let me fix that. Who put that there? It was Corey. Anyways, we got my whiteboard and then my bed, which I really like how it's laid out now. It's really messy, but I like how it's laid out now because it just feels cleaner, you know? And I feel like I have more space. And then I've got all of my posters and stuff and more posters over here. And then I've also got this where I'll be sitting is my music corner. Wow, wow, wow. Got all my posters. There's some pretty big gaps because I'm gonna hang up my guitars pretty soon as soon as I can get my dad to help me because I cannot be trusted with tools on my own. So, yeah. So, today for my little vlog, I decided to learn a new song. And I've been kind of obsessed with Alex G lately. I think they're a really great artist. And so, yeah, and I also think that it'll go really well on my super cool and awesome acoustic guitar. <sighs> I had this set up so that um, the guitar just had like barely enough space to play. And uh, looks like it worked. So I'm gonna go look up some tabs for the music because uh, I don't know any of it. And I will get back to you. At risk of interrupting the flow, I just wanted to say that while I was playing guitar, K 
Katie came and brought me the most delicious Panda Express ever. And Oliver's here, and we're gonna watch something while I eat this delicious Panda Express. So, back to your regularly scheduled vlog. So, two hours and a makeshift boom stand later, I'm here to play for you guys. Uh, maybe things fell apart a little bit at the end. Maybe I don't know how to vlog. Okay, maybe I should have done some research. All right, totally valid. Um, not on me. So, this is Sandy by Alex G. And I've only been playing it for two hours. So be nice. My name is Sandy, I'm 14 years old My friends say I'm ugly, my dad says I'm the prettiest thing Prettiest thing, prettiest thing I'm the prettiest thing, I'm the prettiest My name is Sandy, I'm 14 years old And sometimes I hate you, but right now I just wanna go home Wanna go home, I just wanna go home I just wanna go home, I just wanna go My name is Sandy, I'm 14 years old My brother says he hates me and Satan is his master My name is Sandy, I'm 14 years old My insides are changing, but right now I just wanna grow up Wanna grow up, I just wanna grow up I just wanna grow up, I just wanna grow up I know I said that I was going to be by, but I just wanted to add no vlog tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed that just as much. So. I don't know why I made that face instead of just saying bye, but.